President Trump went ahead and finally declared IRGC being Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps um, a terrorist group, a foreign terrorist group. A big hallelujah. As an American and as an Iranian, I'll say that. Let me start from here. Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps by far as the very first type of militia group of its own type ever created 40 years ago, um, very first days of Islamic revolution in 1979 in Islamic Republic of Iran, uh, back then Supreme Leader Khomeini ordered for IRGC to be created. And basically there was only one goal and one goal, it has always been the same goal, it is still the same goal, and back then there was only one goal for creating IRGC. And that was basically to just safeguard the Islamic regime and its policies. There, there's no need to analyze its Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. It's, it's pretty much right out there. It, it, it tells you right there and then what they're doing, what they stand for, and what their goal is. They just protect Islamic regime. And I'll tell you what, to this day, for the last 40 years, by far, they have played the key role in keeping the Islamic regime in power, not just in Iran, but in Middle East altogether. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps exist everywhere. This isn't just a militia group in Iran. No, it's everywhere. They are all the way here in America. Great that it has been declared as a terrorist group because IRGC members in America now can face either charges or they can just take off running, hiding in Iran. So that, that adds to our safety, which I would like to say that so far, President Trump has definitely um, taken all the right steps to put Americans first and put our safety first. But then on the other hand, as I said, if, if every country, European countries, Canada, Middle Eastern countries, everybody would actually join this movement with President Trump, and declare IRGC as terrorist group altogether, like globally, imagine how many lives we could save. The very first terrorist act they committed was actually the hostage situation of American embassy in Iran. Right there, within a few weeks after, a few months after they were created, their very, very first terrorist act was the hostage situation of American embassy and American citizens in Iran. Why wasn't there right there and then a declaration that IRGC is a terrorist group? This was 40 years ago. And what they did, for those of you who are familiar with it, for those of you who are not, look it up actually, 1979 hostage situation of American embassy in Iran, in Tehran. They terrorized American people. They killed American people. They invaded American embassy. IRGC's fingerprint has been all over so many terror attacks globally. So I guess what I'm trying to throw out there here is for everybody who's panicking and turning blue, screaming that President Trump is a racist, I'll tell you what, no, President Trump is doing his job, which is to protect the people of America. 